Um, and so with that, I'd like to introduce Lisa Hollenbeck, who will be talking about the economic impact of harm. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, hi, I'm Lisa Hollenbeck. My husband and I own the Alpine Shop stores. And I want to start by telling you what our vision is for our company. Our vision is generations transformed through discovery outdoors. And that vision really uh, determines how we act in our business. And uh, one of the things that I love about the store is that it's a gathering place for people who love the outdoors. It's not just the people who work here, but the people who shop here, the people who stop in to find out where to go locally or nationally um, uh, to enjoy their time outdoors. Um, our store has existed since 1973 when we were a climbing, backpacking, and canoe store. My husband bought it from Bob Moore's when it was upstairs, well, it started upstairs of a winemaking store in Webster, and uh, then moved across the street. And it was 1,200 square feet to start with, and now we're at 19,000 square feet in this store. Um, we are now expanded to three stores, and last year we uh, opened alpineshop.com to start selling online. Um, we've continued with all of that with our vision. Um, we now employ over 100 people, all of whom are dedicated to getting people outdoors. Um, we last year added a full-time events coordinator, and his job is to help us to get people outdoors. So why do we care about the current river? Well, it's one of those wonderful places that we're blessed to have right here in the state of Missouri that calls people from all over the country and in fact all over the world. Um, a lot of people who live right here in St. Louis don't even know that. You know, they think that paddling is all about the Merrimack River. And um, when we introduce them to the current and they come back, their stories are unbelievable. You can check out our Facebook page. Um, we have an, a, a current river event coming up this Sunday and uh, we made it so that it's pretty inexpensive for people to get out there and check it out. It's $35 if they uh, don't have their own boat and eight bucks if they do. And uh, we're looking forward to introducing some more people to the current. Um, our customers and people who are not our customers spend money in the state of Missouri. Uh, they get ready for their paddle trip, they buy groceries, they buy beer, they buy uh, lunch when they get off the river, they buy breakfast before they go on the river in some cases, and then sometimes they um, stay in lodging down by the river uh, and make a weekend of it. Uh, they also buy souvenirs, and so they're contributing to the local economy in a way that sometimes we don't think about. Um, they also buy things to get ready to go, like, like apparel. Um, so there are 1.3 million visitors now to uh, the Ozark National Scenic Riverways. Maybe that's too many, but we don't think so. We think that with good management that we could have even more people visiting and enjoying that uh, wonderful experience. And finally, I want to say the importance of taking care of the river uh, is pretty critical. It, or, it, it, it has everything to do with making the river the destination that it is. Because the reason that we recommend the current river as the place to go around here to paddle is because it is pristine. If it's not pristine, it's no longer the attraction. 